Hello, today I want to show you how to make a motion blur in Blender uh, in geometry nodes. And it's uh, very important to have this function if you render particles and uh, some special effects uh, to make the animation very realistic. Uh, so this time I will show you uh, how to make the uh, beginning videos. Uh, I think it's very interesting, like the uh, flash and uh, uh, when he's going through the wall and he will be like uh, blurred and uh, I think you can use uh, uh, this method to make th that function and uh, okay let's begin our tutorial today okay let's go to Blender 4.2 and uh, it's a uh, uh, tested, uh, tested version and it's not ready but uh, today I will use this uh, so I will show you that uh, uh, let's go to render cycle and then go to GPU. Uh, if uh, if you use Blender um, very frequently, you can notice that a motion blur here. And if you make an animation like this, press uh, insert here and uh, go to uh, uh, 10 frame or 9, okay. And the GY and put it here, insert a frame here. And uh, let's go to uh, camera and uh, here lock the camera and uh, see I I want to see, to see this uh, the fifth yeah with the fifth frame and let's render the motion blur yeah it will be like this so uh, by the default method like this you will get a motion blur but you can't customize this if you want to uh, make some interesting interesting effect so you need to make a geometry nodes and let's go to geometry nodes here. So let's delete uh, uh, the, the two frames. Uh, yes, delete them. And uh, drag this line, make this section bigger, and press new. You will get this. And uh, it's easy to define uh, the motion blur just by spawning the attribute here and uh, change it to vector. And uh, the value you can define by yourself. And here I will try 10. And the name is VLCITY, it's velocity. So then it's ready. You have to find the velocity. And then let's go to uh, camera. Yeah. And press N and uh, lock the camera. Okay, drag it here. So let's check. So render. Yeah, you can see the motion blur. Uh, okay, okay. Stop render. Stop render. Yes. Let's decrease decrease the sample. Like ten is okay, just uh, for demonstration. And uh, don't don't forget to uh, save it in the beginning. Uh, so you have made uh, the motion blur, uh, and uh, this this cube is a geometry. And uh, if uh, we and if we change it to uh, like uh, the particle, let's see. Uh, okay, I will just uh, distribute the particles uh, on faces. Yes, like this, and uh, let's render and uh, to see the result. Yeah, you get the motion blur. And that's interesting. If you uh, check uh, here, what's uh, yeah timeline? It's called a timeline. Uh, there is uh, no inserted frame here in timeline, and you just uh, got the motion blur. And uh, if we change uh, and to zero, and here change it to ten, let's check. Yeah, it will be like this. It's very interesting. So it will give you. A lot, a lot uh, power to make uh, some interesting animation. Uh, so uh, let's try. I think uh, we should try volume, match to volume because volume is very important uh, in animation, and then we need to set material here, change it to the default material. Okay, let's go to shading. Go to render, and uh, we will delete that, and we will principal volume here. 
connect to the volume to volume and you will, you will get the volume okay everything is ready and let's render and see the volume is here and uh, there is no motion blur here so I think um, uh, the volume in geometry you know, the don't spot motion blur for now uh, but I think in the future we will have it so let's wait okay so this is the uh, uh, principle and uh, in the next step I will make the animation in the beginning uh, and uh, in addition uh, I will show you how to make the I think it's called the trio uh, the trio effect in Houdini another trio uh, different from the trio I made uh, in my last videos so let's check okay don't delete all I need this and I need a character just uh, import a character uh, from Mixmo yes this one okay let's uh, hide all of that and uh, here I will rename this motion blur and uh, I will drag the surface here here and I will realize instance okay and the chat remember to change the original to relative and you will have this result and uh, you can notice that in this uh, render view you won't have a motion blur uh, so we will just uh, use uh, this uh, render to have the motion blur and here I will use noise and uh, disconnect that and because the noise is from uh, 0 to 1 so but I wanted to make it uh, to minus 1 to 1 so we will need a map range uh, to change that uh, to change the range yeah change it to negative 1 and connect it to the name and here I need animation so I will change it to 40 and link uh, the W to Thing. yeah seconds and the brain it's all okay it's all okay doesn't matter and I will use index index here and use a mass uh, to change like uh, uh, every index uh, the noise is uh, different just uh, increase the randomness just uh, but uh, not much uh, I get uh, this value I think and change it to multiply and this value I think is good for me so and I think we can check the effect uh, now so let's press render and there is nothing I think you know why because we need uh, to increase the motion blur here I will use scale to like uh, 10 Yeah, we have the motion blur from uh, six direction. It's very interesting. So if you like this effect, you want uh, you you want to add uh, the next steps I show you. So here I will use separate, separate x y z, and the combine combine yes, combine x y z here. Just uh, I use the x y z direction. So. Uh, so just uh, use this and uh, press render you will have this and uh, if you like me you will change the scale to like uh, 100 let's check the effect it, it will be more sharp so you can just uh, take the values to uh, make what you want so now we have the motion balloon uh, to make uh, the effect like uh, I think like uh, the flash man going through the wall uh, and the next I will make the trail and uh, I mean uh, just uh, yes go to, go to this mode and uh, um, like uh, many many this character going forward 
So I will use simulation nodes and it's so easy and I will show you. Join geometry. Link here and link here. So go to beginning. Yeah. See? Very interesting, right? But uh, this is very heavy for your computer, so you must have uh, this, have a uh, bake and uh, bake it in your computer. And, uh, uh, and I think the file is uh, very big too, like uh, I got 20, 20 G in my computer, so I delete that. I don't want that. And the next, I will delete uh, the unnecessary objects. I, and like uh, I only want uh, like a five of them, so I will use the time to uh, define the delete. So I will define the time integer, and uh, here I will use the named attribute here. The character must be the same, and I will use uh, mass. Yeah, here, connect it to to here, and connect it this to here. So every frame I will want it to increase one. And uh, this node, this node, uh, it means uh, you define the t here. So uh, the t starts from zero by this method. So it has stored this t and uh, uh, increased one at this frame, and it has stored it, and uh, there will be a circulation like going this direction, and go around to here, and the next uh, in, in next step here, the output here, uh, it will get the previous t, and add one and store it. This is the principle. So so it will keep increasing like here. Here where is the T Okay there are too many too many. Oh, I can't show you for now. Too many of them. Just uh uh, uh the attributes uh, in the character uh, too many. Yeah you can see that uh, fifty two columns are uh, too many uh, uh, I, oh, it's too many. I, I, I think this is a problem in the future. So I can show you this, but uh, you can understand the principle. So next, I will use the compare. Connect it here. And change it to integer. Yeah, connect it to the result to selection. So I will like maybe file. If uh, it's a uh, the time is bigger than five. I will delete this. So let's press play. Yeah, you can see that, that like this, like the flash man. Yeah. So and uh, I think this is the final result. Yeah, it's uh, render. Yeah, it will be like this. Uh, blend. It's it's blend. Very interesting. So by this method, you can make a lot of interesting effects. So I hope you understand the machine balloon very well. And uh, it's very simple. I didn't use many nodes. And uh, I hope my uh, this tutorial is helpful. And uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for watching. And if you think uh, it helps you, uh, please thumbs up. Uh, it helps me a lot. And if you, like, if you want to see my future videos, please subscribe. And uh, this is the whole tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye bye.